Now, if you have been playing other great Roblox games such as Toilet Simulator, fantastic game by the way, and somehow missed the grand return of gladiators at the price of only 500 Robux, well, now you know. At first, the idea of them bringing the gladiator back might seem kind of absurd to you, which I absolutely agree with, so why? Why was it brought back? Isn't it supposed to be exclusive? Isn't it supposed to be only for the OGs? What the hell was the point? Well, the reason is quite simple actually. Robux. AKA money. You see, with the constant love and praise that the gladiator gets, the devs 99% saw that and were like, huh, you know what would be smart? Maybe we could bring it back, cash in on a gladiator, and f the event and everything that makes it OG in the tight Oh, and by the way, to all of you crying because it ain't OG anymore, listen, I got it from the event too, on my little brother's account, because I wasn't playing it on my main account at the time. But guess what? It wasn't even released that long ago, like sometime in 2019 or something around that, which means that it ain't as quote unquote OG as you think. Point is, quit crying, okay? Oh my god, can you actually stop crying? Fine, here's the milk. What? You want mommy's titties milk? Fine. Sorry, but TDS doesn't care about your old genius or your feelings, but you do know what they care about. Robux. You know, the devs probably were playing those obby games and started noticing all of the game pass and were like, BANK! Sooner or later, they're gonna start charging you for playing the game! Like Bloxburg! And you know the thing about Bloxburg, they made bank on their 25 Robux entry. Sooner or later, Toilet Simulator is gonna charge 25 Robux for entry. Oh, and by the way, I'm not trying to bash on the idea, alright? To be honest, I think it's genius. And, and do not think that I'm all perfect and, and ain't greedy and trust me. I love money as much as you love to cry about the old genius being gone. It wasn't released that long ago. And plus, the price for the Gladiator was like 500 Robux. And what's more is that, you know how your parents are purposely staying at home, unemployed, trying to inherit the government's quarantine money? Well, that makes the mission to steal the credit card for the $5 to buy the 500 Robux significantly harder. So yeah, that significantly reduces the amount of kids that bought the Game Pass. Point is, stop crying, okay? Just stop. And as for the Sledger being able to be purchased as a Game Pass while the event for it is happening, that is also pretty smart. Because the Game Pass still keeps its exclusiveness, of course, exclusive only for the people who aren't that good and whom would never find a proper team that actually had brain cells to play with. But even when they did find them, they probably didn't have accelerator, so the boss walked through the end, like with 400k fucking health. <clears throat> As I said, smart. Also, Sindo Life was also kind of influenced by it too, with their exclusive Dark Joke at the price of only 800 Robux, which before a rare bloodline would be hella rare to get. No exception. You have to get it through luck. And now you can just buy it are you kidding me point is i see that games are shifting to become more pay to win because the devs need more of that robux and they also need to squeeze that healthy cow titty milk dry but instead of getting calcium out of the milk they're getting ro i wouldn't even be surprised if in the next months they bring back toxic gunner or sledger or gladiator again and put it on the black market to be sold once again why bucks Again, I'm not trying to roast them, and again, I think it's hella smart. I'm just surprised that I haven't seen this talked about anywhere yet. And it is a pretty interesting topic, or at least I think so. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Bye-bye.